Here's how to know if the app that you are searching for has true reviews or not. If you notice here, this one up in the top right corner says it has, uh, it's a 5.0 star rating with 11,000 reviews. And so when you go to the reviews and check them out, tap on the five stars. Okay, that's where that 5.0 rating would be coming from. So then you start reading these five stars. It's important to read. You need to read the name and uh, how the English plays out. If it's English, whatever language it is, I'm reading English because that's what my phone setting is. So we have Jonah Stout, right? And uh, it'll start out, a debt of gratitude is in order for such a best application. Right there in that first sentence, there's improper English for a very English name. Um, my telephone, and then there's a capital, doesn't have, that's a copy-paste, see? There's copy-pasting going on. Doesn't have any default gallery applications, so I, I attempted Google. Now, this app is not a Google, a Google app. It's just a gallery new, it's called. Gallery new, it's not on Google. It's not a Google um, dev. He's just an independent I'm trying not to show his name, but anyway, he says, uh, so I attempted Google. In any case, it's better than Google Gallery. Much appreciated. I love this. Go to the next one. Tyler Rich. I love this application. Exceptionally simple to utilize and put partner pictures in envelopes. That English does not even make sense. I had Google Pictures and it was awful. So this 100%, this is 100% better and more straightforward to utilize. It's really not making sense English. Whatever language you're reading, it should make sense. I know a lot of um a lot of users are sometimes not English speaking, but you will see the exact same type of broken English, the same type of manner of speaking when it's spam. Okay, so right there it's and put partner pictures in envelopes. That does not make sense. And yes, it is spam, but I'm not marking it spam. What I am marking spam is this person next who leaves these little trees jasper by us okay he leaves these little trees so he can get his credit for who for his payment that's one of the little trade secrets i've learned in um looking at who's what's which ones are spam and which ones are not i've seen some applications that always have some little icon little um emoji that they use to get their payment to identify themselves so that they can get paid for that many spam whatevers and they'll throw that little emoji in there and you'll notice that there's only certain emojis being used or um, some of them have a, a little winky face or like a typed you know um, wink face but anyway this gallery is a great gallery and it, the other thing they'll say is um, this and they always name the app they name it like the full name you know they don't speak casually they speak very formally and they put um the name of the app like <laughs> practically every single every single you'll see every single um review has the name of the app like long long typed out uh I mean, getting back to it, this gallery app is a great gallery. I like it very much. It's a, it is amazing. It can contain very good personal data. That in English does not make sense. That is spam. I'm marking him spam for his trees. I don't, I don't think I did that already, but 
um, the thing is, is like when they describe, when they're making their review, they're not making any sensical review. They just keep saying amazing, great app, um, many good reviews or things like this. You'll see it in a minute. There are a couple of legits in here, but very, very few. This is the best photograph gallery application I've at any point utilized. It's straightforward, quick, and has a huge, has huge loads of choices. I have dumped Google Photographs altogether for this. Now, see how they keep mentioning Google Photographs? That's a spam right there. Like a spam. Everything mentioning Google Pictures and Google Photographs is a spam. They are actually um, doing like a campaign against Google. Not that I have anything good about Google, but I'm just saying, you know, that's another company and they're, um, they're attacking. That's who they think their competitor is. So, uh, and, and that's a very English Hayden Kane, like in English, we would hear that kind of a name frequently, or it would be a common thing to English speakers. And here it is, this broken type English. Andrea Hull, there's a very English name. There's thousands of Andrea Hulls. <laughs> it says, best gallery application ever. I have utilized it for something like four years and totally love it. I love no advertisements and with time to spare. That does not make sense English. Okay, we're going to remember An Andrea Hull, and I'm going to take you someplace here. And I'm going to end up showing this guy's name because it's hard to scroll without doing that. Okay, so let's go to about the app, and we're going to scroll down and see when it was developed. She said like something like four years. Okay, 2019, 20, 21. It's just barely 22, so this thing has not been around for four years. Okay, and so clearly know that Andrea Hull is a spam. <laughs> okay, John Ho, now that could be, that last name may or may not be English. Simple way of putting away and sort out photographs without interruption if you catch my drift works for me. Little corns. Now you might see little corns somewhere else. Bread hoog zanzi. You would may expect some broken English from this. Gallery new application. And that's how that will always be said in a lot of spam. Gal it'll always start out or put that somewhere. It's very repetitive. It is very cool and awesome. It is also easy to use and I have asked my friends and family also to question it and everyone has benefited from it here's the tree he's a spam justin baxter very english sounding pictures are amazing affection every one of the highlights and that you can even request pictures and collections at any photograph store so you cut sit tight an ideal opportunity for photographs down the middle see so that's a copy pasted that's why we're there's different concepts going on in there is definitely not english it's broken english Haley robertson now there's a very english sounding this is an exceptionally great application. It does what it says and it does it wonderfully and accomplishes more. A great, I mean, a debt of gratitude is in order for fostering this for nothing. Fostering this does not, 
apply in English. Like, that's not how English people speak. A debt of gratitude is a spam that I've seen in some of the other ones. You know, debt of, I'm sorry, a debt of gratitude. They always keep saying a debt of gratitude. I can understand how people in other language, languages might use words like that. Because that's probably how they speak in their language. But it's not how English people speak. And this is... You know, I have, uh, I can flag it for a, a debt of gratitude, this gratitude thing. But there's, um, I want to be sure when I flag stuff that I actually have like duplicate wordings or something that actually matches. I could flag it just because it is spam. But there's a little more to flagging it as spam than just recognizing that it's a false review. Um, Mariah Finley. There's another nice English sounding. This application is acceptable. Right there, that's not English. Like, we don't talk like that when we describe something. It, it's an out of context description. This is an amazing application. I would be more cheerful if the manual blurring element could be added here much obliged to you this is completely not english Tur wait we don't speak like that you can hear me if i was going to say something like how she's trying to say um i would say this is an okay application but that this is acceptable i mean it's kind of like barely making the mark and then the next sentence is it's contradicting that it's it's an amazing application it's two different descriptions that don't match don't they're not on the same level same plane i would be more cheerful cheerful is out of context here this is i mean it is spam. i just don't have copycat words you know here's another one Elena Nash, when we're talking, that's a pretty English, um, you know, Western sounding name. I truly like the application. It's quick and simple to utilize. I additionally like the energy stylish. That doesn't, that's not how, that's not English. It's actual, essential, and decent. I love it. None of that is English. None of it is. For this English or Western sounding name, we don't have any Western grammar going on here. So, Stephanie Chen. Okay, here's a person who might be kind of not having Fluent grammar, fluent Western English grammar. Best gallery application, pleasant, pleasant photograph application. That's, that's call that, um, like it's redundancy. It is an entirely inconceivable application. Now I can flag this one because it keeps on saying application, application, application. It support every one of the gadgets. See, I can understand somebody not not an English speaker from a different language like using gadgets to say um, apps. You know, apps, something you use, gadgets. But it's like they're looking in an English their language dictionary trying to find a word for useful also it's utilization extremely basic but just because her last name is not western english but her first name is so she should know some kind of english western english western uk like i don't know but here, because she keeps on using the word application this way, 
you can flag that. Here's Sergio Finley. We've got two type of names here. Finley, very English, Western. Sergio, very European. Uh, it substitutes my default Google photographs impeccably. So here the, it is a spam because it's attacking the Google like the others. My telephone accompanies just Google photographs as gallery. That's not true. That's that's not true of phones. Um, with their either Samsung, you know, they're that's the type, not not necessarily Google. Uh, um, which I don't care for it. However, this application gives me practically all I really want in gallery. Much appreciated. We could let that one slide because there is sounding like some this person's got some comprehension going on in their head, but it probably is a spam because they're bringing up the Google again. Please 022 hashtag or pound. <laughs> Gallery new is very outclass application. This application description match the app experience. I am satisfied. No, there's comprehension there, but there is not um, English grammar while well, it's typed in English. It is spam because there's this little tree. He wants to make sure he gets his acknowledgement, his payment. Daniel Chase. There's a very Western sounding name. Gallery is beautiful. 3D gallery. We don't talk like that in English. And is quick application. There's missing grammar in there. Photograph gallery is best application for use in gallery. Utilize most recent illustrations of your photograph. This is... <sighs> it's a fake. It's fake. Here's another English. Liliana Doyle. This application is amazing and with this the photographs can be overseen without any problem. Stay aware of the great work. This is absolutely <laughs> false. These are false um, reviews. That in effect makes them spam. They are because it's the same people doing many different names <clears throat> They're using English or Western sounding names to look approved and show the five stars. But when you actually read it, they're not English. They're not Western. They don't speak English very well. They're having these Western names with no very Western names with very not Western grammar. And there's your contradiction that gives it away. Anyway, I can go on and on, but I just wanted to show you guys how to discern this is a simple way, like, I, I, when you, I'll show you another trick too. This one has no zero as far as I know, but let's go over here. If they have a one, you will see that the English is much better. And they don't always use their full names in their um, IDs. So here's Brad T. Seems all reviews are fake. I didn't put that. <laughs> Just read the reviews. Almost all the reviews start out the same. You know, and we're going to say, yeah, that's helpful. Example, incredible, amazing, wonderful, best. Nobody gets all worked up over a photograph review app. Most reviews came in around at the same time. Check any other app. You'll never see that. Many reviews in one day. Just beware of malware where people see how the English is good. There's Brad. He's not using his last name because most Westerners are, we don't really like share our last names or personal names. We use something to protect ourselves. Here's um, Mar Juanita Morales because there are many uh, by that name. So it has a JPG image 
on my camera folder that shows black when I try to delete or move it to another file. It won't let me, it says I can't delete it or move or open file. Sorry, but something's not right in uninstalling. She's not punctuating, but she is speaking good English grammar and she is like probably Hispanic, you know? Isabel Bartlett, great organization, but lacking in operation. I kept trying to delete, retain pictures and it would not delete just kept sitting there as if it was thinking about it. I don't recommend this app. Very good English, punctuating, and there is a pretty pretty Western name, Bartlett, maybe so, Isabel, maybe not, but I'm showing you how we just looked at all of these fake ones you know, they're very grandiose. And then you come over here to the one, the we are very, very broken English. You come over here to the one stars, and now you've got very clean English, very proper English. And, um, you know, Western and non-Western names speaking in good, clean English. So, and the first one, I mean, it just spelled out my point. I am so fortunate that I chose to go to this one because this, this video I've done is on the fly. It's not scripted or prepared in any way. I didn't pre-pick this. I just said, oh, while I'm here, let me just do this video. And I slid my little screen over and hit my record screen recorder and started. So anyway, this is perfect and I'm going to put this up for my viewers and hopefully it helps you because um, it's very easy to see. I usually go to the one stars first um, if I'm really looking to see if this app is going to work for me. What what am I looking at? Does any of the problems look like it's something I can overcome? Um, I look at the dates too, you know, like this one here, 2021. If the app has been updated I'll do another video on that. If the app has been updated, you're going to see older dates here. I mean, especially if, like, you choose most recent, okay? So, if you go to most recent, you know, sometimes you're not going to see very many most recent, and it'll get straight into, like, 2017 and all this, because, and see, this one is quite uh, recent. But you'll see that it'll go straight back to like 2017, 16 or something, 19, because they've updated the app. And very, very few, like people aren't looking at it, so very few reviews get done on it if many people just aren't looking at it because they've already checked it out. Um, but I'll go to the five stars and right away I'm like looking to, I'm, checking it does it have see here here comes some more see these these are spam these are here beforehand this is all spam spam wasn't there before he just put these on spam this is recent oh my gosh see how they're using the little um the little icon that is to help them get paid that's their id that's their id see wow lots of this id He's really using it. And there's the other tree. He's getting his ID. I'm glad I chose to check it out again. Wow. Yep. See, and when Google looks into this, he's going to get he's going to get uh, disciplined. See. Now this is a perfect example of um what I'm talking about. He's either, because I just went to the five stars, so he's either doing this as I was speaking, or, um, wow, I mean, he's brazen, he's gonna get, he's gonna get in trouble, but that's how they do their little thing to, they, when they hire these people, they use these little icons to, um, I think I hit this one. 
they do it to identify themselves to the app developer so that they can get their pay. So little smiley face with the halo is going to get however many dollars and little tree is going to get another. I'm losing track of how I can't talk and chew gum at the same time. But I don't mind. I mean, I kind of enjoy just sitting here and flagging because I hate going and wasting my time on an app that every single one of them is a spam app. And it's really good for Google to know this, you know. I mean, it's Google Play Store, right? And here they are talking bad. But... Now, see, I don't even have to read these. And you can do this too if you really get sick and tired of people wasting your time. Because, I mean, you're looking for reviews. I, I typed in, you know, I wanted a, a 4 point whatever to 4.5. And there were many 4.7s. Um, this one came as a 5.0. That's, that's when it raises eyebrows, when you see a 5.0. And a lot of times they'll say 11,000 uh, reviews, but many of them are hidden. They hide the ones that are negative. I don't know how they hide them. They may have some software that they can do that with because they're not supposed to be able. But when you look between all of the reviews that are posted in every um, star number, five through one, you will see that... Um, there are nowhere near 11,000 reviews, so some of them have been deleted. This is just, I hope this guy gets in so much trouble, you know, because this is so wrong, so very wrong. People shouldn't have to, uh, and this could be just one person putting, but I doubt it, it's two people. And if you read through them, you're going to see, like, there is copy paste because it'll it won't make sense you know there'll be like two different contexts going on it's okay if he gets flagged a couple of times i'll try to make it so i don't there if that happens to you just scroll all the way up wait a minute hold on that one's not a spam it's not a tree this one's a tree that probably is spam because see does this make any sense let's see this makes no sense so I'm gonna just go ahead and flag it I can't remember if I did this guy I it's hard to find I gotta do to the dots that's what I gotta do scroll it to the dots I don't know if that's in another language, but RSS, that's really not. I'm not going to go gung-ho. I'm just going to do the trees and the halos. Well, this was easy and fast, and it's almost like they have a computer because this is the five star I was just showing you, and this the, they didn't have this at the first. You saw yourself what was the first one, and it wasn't like this. Now, all of a sudden, there's tons of these. All on the 22nd, see? Look at that. That's what that guy was talking about. <laughs> wow. I mean, you can really... I mean, they're doing it by some kind of computer, so I can't keep up with it. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure by now Google will. And that's the bad thing is when it goes in my email, you know, it's going to 
spam me too. I have tons that I have to erase now. Like delete, throw in the trash, empty the trash. But to me, this is a gold mine because I don't really, I never really find anything like this brazen. This is so brazen. They usually have like maybe like a dozen different people doing it. And I think I, yeah, I did. I flagged that one because it had the flower. But, um, it's just, it's ridiculous. This can take me all night. I'm not going to spend all night doing this guy. He got flagged enough and they'll look into it and they'll see all the rest of it. Uh, he's debunked now, so... Little Mr. Tree is keeping, he started first. Hmm. I told you, they use their little icons to, and this little one with the flower grapes thing, that was up there before, so that's probably another one, or the wife of, or the husband of, probably the wife. But that's what happens. So that's probably the husband family pitching in, you know, and that's her, this is, little smiley face represents their last name, they don't even care that they're doing this, they don't even care that people can notice, you know, Yeah, they've got some kind of computer or something, and then... Hmm. Alright, well, I'm pretty sure that's good enough, but, um... Because you'll be on this video forever, and so will I. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you guys go, and, um... Just happy that you got to see how it really is when there's somebody being a, f a fake, you know? And um, for what it's worth, Gallery Studio LLC, 1 million downloads. Those are probably fake downloads too. So, and his other apps related to this app. No. Okay, well, have a good wherever you're at, night, week, afternoon, day. And um, I hope this video helped you. It's not ending.